everybody, Emma here from the Golden Potato, and welcome to another episode of Crazy Craft Modded Survival, where <sighs> today's episode might be a little bit shorter than usual, and there is good reason for that. Uh, I filmed a beautiful episode of Crazy Craft a few weeks ago, and had planned to upload it after the collab series was uh, winding uh, it's, I don't know what the word is, but finishing up, I guess. <laughs> and, uh, I was cleaning out my video files because it was taking up too much space. The old ones that were already on YouTube that I didn't need to keep on my computer anymore. And I accidentally deleted that episode of Crazy Craft. And even worse, I then proceeded to clear out my trash can. So it is completely unobtainable forever. But I'll show you what we did. Uh, a little disappointing. You probably saw right there. It's this. It's what I like to call a magical sheep dome. So this is what we spent a lot of time building. And essentially, it is a glass dome. And inside is a bunch of clay. I even have the carpenter's glass door. And I was going to put my sheep on display in here. And we have clay trees and clay hills. And I just thought it looks good to put Mr. Rainbows in and stuff. So I was actually going to <coughs> put my clay away. And then uh, we will discuss two very important things about Crazy Craft. And I think you will get a kick out of them. So let's put our clay back and go like that. There we go. Now, there's one. Oh, we missed something. There's one teeny little problem. As you know, the creeper repellent isn't working at all. Like, ever. It's supposed to repel ants, but that's only in the more recent version. But there is this thing called the Magnum Torch, and this is from Extra Utilities, and it actually repels um, mobs within a 64 block radius. Now, it's going to require some very expensive materials, but it will prevent mobs from spawning. From spawning, sorry. It will also require some potions. Now, I don't know if this function will be the same uh, in such an old version of Minecraft, but we'll have to see to find out, and I know at least that it will keep the outside looking very, very bright. So, before you start watching this episode, I also have one final announcement. Crazy Craft 3 is out. I know Crazy Craft 2 is out, but Crazy Craft 3 is out, and it has some of my favorite mods. It has the YouTuber's head mod, it has, um, the Weaving Angels, it has Pac-Man, it has all of these mods, but also updated, so I know what they're doing. This is 1.6.4. Like, this is really hard to work with right here. Not only because it lags, because it's so old, but I also now have this chunk generation glitch, and I honestly feel like I could redo my house. However, I would transport most of my valuable items that I have here to the other one. Like, I would transport all of my... Um, ultimate armor and I would also transport stuff like my chicken chest and um, you know I wouldn't I would transport most of this I can't copy the house but I might try to replicate it as much as possible um, you know with the expensive stuff like the fridge and um, all of the armors up here and I would try to rebuild that because I can't copy it over I would actually try to rebuild that in creative just to make sure that we're um, sort of in the same world almost and, uh, I would then go ahead and, uh, play Crazy Craft 3. Because there are some awesome mods in there that I really, really wanted to play. And I feel like my computer would run it better because it would be, you know, 1.8 or 1.7.10 instead of the ancient 1.6.4. And also, I think, um, I would understand it a lot more. Because even now, I'm not sure if my Magnum Torch will do what I thought it did because it's in an older version of Minecraft. So, we will have to see what that does. We're going to make a brewing stand. And luckily, we have one little blaze, bla blaze rod. I just can't speak today. And we're going to do that. Make a blaze rod brewing stand and put that here. And we're going to make the Magnum Torch. It might be a shorter episode than usual. But then, of course, uh, after that, uh, I might just might copy in this world i might find a program that can copy and paste this world i might do a tutorial on that uh to import it over to crazy craft 3 but also i realize that there's no grass in that dome so the rainbow sheep in there can't replenish their wool if i shear them so <laughs> what that means is 
They're just for display. So maybe we'll leave that empty for now, which is why I'm hesitating. But let's look at how to craft the Magnum Torch. We need two logs. I believe this could be any logs. So boom, we have two logs right here. Next, we need... I only need to craft one chandelier because then I can chicken chest it. So we need two gold and a diamond. Two gold and a diamond. And we also need some torches. So let's craft that. We need two gold here, a diamond here, and some torches here. And that'll give us our chandelier. Now let's go and chicken chest it. How many times did we need it? We needed it one, two, three, four, five times. Okay, that's not too bad. Yeah, and I'd carry over my golden apple cows and I'd try to replicate this as much as possible. It might take a really long time, but I think it would be worth it. So I say we should give it a shot. Anyway, there are eight chandeliers. I think we can even put three of them here. One, two, and this one was. And I gotta make sure it's centered now. This one is one off from this bottom. Three. There. That looks pretty spoopy. Now we have our five chandeliers. Now we're also going to need some potions. So we're going to need a potion of regen two. So we need a potion of regen. I don't remember how to make a regen potion. Potion of regen one is, oh, I see how it works, okay. Potion of regen, potion of regen two, okay. So the first thing we're going to need is an awkward potion. So we're going to need a nether wart. Nether wart. Oh, uh, we don't have, oh, okay, oh, we have nether wart. So we need two, because we need two awkward potions. First, let's take a quick sleepy sleep before the nasty mobs come out and do that. And I actually, the more I talk about it, the more um, Crazy Craft 3 seems more appealing because of all of the new updated mods. And also the um, ultimate armor is not as powerful or OP so that it's not um, so ridiculously good. Anyway, let us, we also need to grab two water bottles, so we need, do we use glass panes for water bottles? I don't remember. I still have glass on me anyway. No, you don't. Alright, so let's grab the bacon. That was like the first thing we made, and let's make some water bottles. Put the glass panes back. Oh, it pains me. And then we can go outside. Let's actually go back into nether mode. But you can see how the lag is just taking a toll on, on the gameplay, and how... The slowness of the world is making things so difficult. But we'll fill these up. One, two, three. And brew two of them to make an awkward potion. In fact, we only need one nether ward if we brew both of them at the same time. So let's go back into our house. I could easily copy this just by rebuilding it and probably just get the essentials. Let's make an extra awkward potion just uh, in case we screw up. And then for a potion of regen, we're going to need a gas tier. So we need a gas tier. Luckily I have one. And then once we make the potion of regen, we then need to make the potion of regen 2, which requires redstone, I think. Let me check. Go back to magnum. We need, ooh, what are these? We need the <laughs> uh, potion of regen 2. So we take a potion of regen 1, put glowstone in it. All right, so we need glowstone. That's cool. I might not actually have glowstone. 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 Oh no, don't tell me I don't have glowstone. Glow glowstone. Okay. <laughs> I knew I did. And oh, I have so many blaze rods here too. Oh, we could just take the dust. That might be easier. Let's take the dust. So now we have two awkward potions. So the first one with an awkward potion is going to be a regen potion of two. So we'll brew the guest here into it, and then we will brew the glowstone into it. In fact, I only need. One piece of glowstone dust. Actually, no. Uh, let me check the other potion. It's a potion of instant health. So we need regular instant health, which is a glistering melon. I don't think I have a watermelon. Oh, no. I don't think I have a watermelon. Uh, I don't have a watermelon. How am I supposed to get a glistering melon? I don't even have a regular melon. Where do you even get melons? I forgot. This is embarrassing. Oh, I have a glistering melon. Oh, wow. Whew. We are so lucky. This is why I'm a little reluctant to transfer the world since I would have to account for all of these hidden valuable items that I might not think of as valuable until I'm actually using them. 
But, uh, okay, we have Potion of Regen, and we need Potion of Regen 2. Uh, but you have to let me know what you think, because I will show you if I pull up the Void Launcher. Here we are. These are the current ones in Crazy Craft 1, right? But here is Crazy Craft 3. And there are some ones that I really like. I mean, we have Carpenter's Blocks, obviously, but there's also the addition of custom NPCs, which is really fun. Um, Food Plus is amazing. We have the classics like Iron Chest and Hats, but also Inventory Pets is awesome, and the Helicopter one is amazing. Um, we have Morph and, you know, Furniture, which we usually use, but also Portal Gun. And, um, I think, you know, the TARDIS mod or Spawn mod. The TARDIS mod is awesome. There's Security Craft, the YouTubers mod, Weeping Angels. I just think there are so many more exciting mods in that one than in the current one. So we have a potion of Regen 2. Now we need to make a potion of, uh, what's it called again? <laughs> Instant health. And then we'll be good to go to make our Magnum Torch. So this episode might be shorter than usual. I'm sorry, but... It's because, um, I thought we had that going for us. <laughs> back back over there. Where'd my hand go? Where'd my hand go? Alright, I don't have one. <laughs> I'm ablaze. Um, I wonder what other mobs we can even turn into. Because there are so many that I haven't used. I mean, the mutant creeper, obviously. A lot of them have superpowers, as you can see. But the blaze has a lot of them. I mean, minus water resistance... Uh, but we're looking for ones that can fly. Like, oh, we could be Mothra. That'd be sweet. Like, the Enchanted Golden Apple Cow is water resistant. And the Mantis, we do not want to be the Mantis. Um, that's kind of cre creepy. <laughs> uh, so many scary ones. It just takes us back to when we were just destroying baby little creepers and all that jazz. Anyway, I think this should be good for now. So we have the potion of instant health. Add the glowstone. We should get the instead of health 2 potion, and then let's put the water bottle probably in the organics. Right there. There we go. We have stuff from the witchery mod we never started. Oh, that reminds me. I think they might have taken out the witchery mod in Crazy Craft 3, but that's okay, I guess. And there we go. Instant health 2. So now it's time to craft the chandelier. You know what I'm going to sing? I wanna swing from the what <laughs> what potion of instant health 2 potion of regen 2 potion of instant health 2 potion of regen 2 am i missing something oh the wood okay uh yeah there we go <laughs> and then we need the wood that scared me ah uh, the magnum torch oh! all right so this will prevent anything from spawning near us so we're gonna put it right at the top of our house i can't it's on a slab good job emma uh let's put it let's replace this one and replace oh it has to go on the ground ah what hit me you stupid ant i'm gonna keep this here anyway just because it's keeping the creepers away extra i have to place it on a pedestal let's place it on a fancy diamond pedestal just because we can afford it <laughs> Let's see what cool building materials we have. So we can make some diamond blocks. And let me actually plug my headphones in while I'm talking. Because that little beep you just heard was my earbuds are dying. So we need that. And we also need, uh, let's see. We could use some quartz, which might be cool. I think I plugged my headset in. There we go. Oh, and also I want to create a floating island at the end. <laughs> That's all there is to it. Uh... We could use diamonds. Let's make a few diamond blocks. <laughs> Seven. No big deal. <laughs> and put that extra diamond back. And we could also use... Uh, I wish I had more quartz. Uh, I do. I have quartz. Why is this quartz not with this quartz? Excuse me. Excuse me? Um, oh, we could use these blocks. That might look really, really cool. Yeah, let's try these three to make a nice fancy pedestal. For the the more the torch, and I'm gonna see if I can transfer my world, cause that might be really really cool. But I'm also like not sure. One, two, three, four. These ants need to stop killing me. Where's my sword? <gasps> okay, stay away from the world chunk. That is a big glitch that might be fixed. Um, the ants are still here. Now they're even more annoying, cause the little damage indicators thing makes them even more uh, noticeable. Ow! Stop it! I'm trying to build! 
You can see why I hate these ants now that, right? I'm just, I'm just gonna... Oh my gosh, get out. Get out of my building. Get off my block. Okay. Now let's put that here. Huh. You, stay back. The magnum torch should be doing its work. After I kill all the ants that already exist, there should be no more spawning. But let me grab my shovel. And... Make this look a little bit richer. <laughs> Oops, I missed a grass block. And then the mobs that are already here will obviously not despawn. But this might look so cool when I'm done. I might need one more diamond block. One, two, three, four. Okay, I need one more. Let's go back in and do that. Ants? Spawning? No. <laughs> Like I said, this is the, ma the features of the Magnum Torch are from a more recent version of Minecraft, so I can't be too sure that that's how it works. But uh, let's go make ourselves another diamond block. Another reason to uh, go up to Crazy Craft Three is that the blocks will actually work. Is that nine? Yeah, that is. So I'm like block, block of diamond. I bet people will see our world and they'll be like, what? How did you get that rich? And I'll be like, well, there's a magical thing called a chicken chest. I highly suggest you look into it. But, of course, we went through the chickenator for that, so I think it's pretty darn worth it. Anyway, let's go like that, and that. One, two, three, and a four. There we go. There's our magnum torch. Oh! Very, very cool. Now, we need to look for ants. In fact, let's kill all the mobs near us. Well, the birds obviously will spawn in different eras and fly near us, but let's kill this cassowary. Die! I don't want to kill Mr. Rainbow. He's kind of just wandering. This ant needs to stop wandering. And who else needs to stop wandering? All you guys are in the 64 block radius. Have you heard the news? It's purge time! Oh, he's running. He's like, no! No, don't kill me! Don't kill me! <laughs> oh, Mr. Rainbow, you have something on your head there. <laughs> anyway, I think it's time to sleep. In fact, let's read the description of the Magnum Torch. Are you tired of putting down fields of ugly torches? Well, with this one very expensive torch, you can prevent all mobs from spawning. Yes! Within a 64 block radius, regardless of light level. This will not affect custom mob spawning, such as dungeon spawners. Okay. So this should be doing its work. Except for you, Mr. Ant! Except for you. I think our area looks a lot cleaner. Let me fill up this. Also, you might be wondering, I patched up the whole uh, explosion area earlier. Like, this goes down to where I covered it over. As you can see, I covered it over. And also, uh, for one of the lucky blocks last time, that ant needs to go away. Oh my gosh. You know what? Options. If I quit, will I, like, be allowed to go back to the mods? And then I can go here to Optifine. Like, this is my last straw right now the or spawn i won't even let me go into the conflict oh my gosh because even in the new mod launchers if i click on a mod in the forge menu i can go directly to its conflict and i can just cut the spawn rate for ants once and for all because i can't handle it it's so annoying anyway this is the oh go away you can see i'm at the end of my rope with ants right now like hello a magnum torch right here look at it Look at it! Anyway, this is the lucky block area. I covered it over with carpenter's blocks because it sort of looked like scaffolding. I thought that was pretty cool. Die! Die! I know you're not an ant. You're an ant, though. You have her lovely permission to die. I have so much experience right now. Uh, this is where we fell down straight to the pits of lava. You can sort of see it in there just a little bit. And that is cool. So, Magnum Torch uh, looks to be keeping things pretty bright. I wonder if I take down this torch. Yeah, so it's not giving up as much light as it is. Protection from everything but ants who seem to be crawling in. You know what? You know what? That's it. That's it. I'm. It's time to take my my powers and duplicate, triplicate, quadruplicate, whatever the word is, this magnum torch. And I'm going to go crazy with this magnum torch because I've had enough with these ants. Anyway. 
Let's duplicate this magnum torch. Let's quadruplicate it. I know that's not a word, but we're using it anyway. Let's make 16 magnum torches. And in the morning, we will set out to defeat the ant army once and for all. All, oh, all, oh, all. Oh, that's my echo. I don't know if you can tell very much, but it's my echo. And go like this. Go back into human mode. And take a nice sleep. I mean, I'm not too worried about the evil Enderman warriors now. Because I know they definitely won't spawn with the Magnum Torch nearby. Although they might teleport nearby. But I'm going to lay out the, the main Magnum Torch. And then I'm going to spread these Magnum Torches out all over. Because I'm sick of the ants crawling in. So, I'm trying to fly and it's like, why? Why can't I fly? There's the Magnum Torch number one. Alright. Let's do Magnum Torch 2 over here. Let's do Magnum Torch 3 over here. Let's do Magnum Torch 4 over here. Let's do Magnum Torch 5 over here. And Magnum Torch 6 can go behind here. I might be taking this a little too extreme. I know that they're not even within 64 block radii. But that's okay. Hello? Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Where'd he go? Oh, shoot. I have goosebumps. He's going crazy. I think he's burning. Alright, that's kind of amusing. Three, two, one. Ah! He dodged me. That tricky guy. Ah! Okay, I killed him. I got an eye of Ender. Alright, so they sort of do that when it's in the day. Anyway, Magnum Torch here! And the Magnum Torch here! All the Magnum Torches everywhere. Let's put one over here, too. Surely the ants can't spawn now once I kill them. I'm even, like, triple overlapping the, the spawns. Like, let's put one out here. And let's put one out here. Like, now, nothing should spawn. Like, ever. So I dare you, ants. I dare you to come and attack me, because you technically shouldn't be allowed to spawn. So now, I'm just gonna give up. <laughs> I'm gonna go on my roof here and give up, because I literally cannot fight these ants anymore. I have just put down 16 magnum torches, which prevents mobs from spawning in a 64 block radius, and look what that is. Ugh. Anyway deep breaths. I think I'm going to end out this episode here. So, uh, if you do, I'm going to eat this raw chicken, not a banger. No, 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 no. <sighs> if you do have any suggestions, questions, or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. And also, I'm really, really, really dying to go into Crazy Craft 3. So whether I have to rebuild my whole world and just carry over the essentials, let me know because that would be really, really awesome. And I apologize for accidentally deleting this episode where we built this here. It was nothing exciting and in retrospect, I'm glad that we could skip over it because... Uh, I just discovered some very important news that you probably wanted to hear, which is, should we update or not? Anyway, if you happen to enjoy it, please leave a big fat thumbs up, and also if you are new to my channel, then please consider subscribing to The Golden Potato today for frequent Minecraft videos. Again, this has been Emma the Blaze from The Golden Potato, and in a fury and a almost rage quit from these stupid ants, I will see you all next time. Goodbye!